obviously it's caused a big credibility problem for the government. Um, the main thing is to, is, to, is to have the rules clear. And some of them, frankly, like the ones of quarantining when people come into the country now are, are really not very clear. And then there's been changes over what we're doing with schools and so on. The most important thing in this situation is to have a grip and have all the different aspects of it being dealt with by competent people with the right mix of skills. But the other thing is constantly to explain to people why you're doing what you're doing and explaining this calculus of risk. There's a whole set of things that you, you want to do. But at the heart of it, in my view, is this issue of mass testing. Yeah. And the government started by saying they, they wanted mass testing. And now it's not really clear to me that they're still going for that. Global leadership and cooperation is so important in times of a world crisis that we're seeing today. And yet President Trump seems to be going on his own path. How do you feel he's handling the crisis? Global coordination at the moment is essential and important for individual countries' interests. In other words, making sure you're sharing the data accelerating the developments of vaccines, therapeutics, proper testing capability, making sure you're taking the right measures to reflate the global economy. These are sensible things to do. Now, let's see whether the G7 plus, which is what President Trump's talking about now, let's see if they can come up with something. There's a G20 later in the year. But, you know, in the end, this isn't about putting your own country first or not. All leaders will put their own countries first. It's about recognizing that there's certain points of cooperation that's in everyone's interest to do. And even if the, the America-China relationship is now going to go into a much more hostile place, which I think is inevitable now, yeah. you still need to reserve, even in that relationship, space for cooperation where it's necessary. President Trump has actually taken away funding, ending his relationship with the World Health Organization. How dangerous is that? Well, the trouble is, Right now, there are plenty of sensible things to be said about how the World Health Organization has to change. Um, in, in my view, it's just a very simple thing. They're, they're people doing the best they possibly can. But this was, this was an organization set up to deal with localized epidemics, not a global pandemic of this scale. There's a lot of politics in this, obviously. Um, but the fact is, the World Health Organization, as I see myself, with countries, say, in Africa, uh, performing an absolutely vital role. Now, long term, you, and even medium term, you may make significant changes, but right now I think it's important not to destabilize them.